Okay. So you brothers who've been listening to this MGTOW content for years now, you already know that I have a low opinion of PUAs and dating coaches. You know that. Because for the most part, both are peddling fraud. The PUAs, lots of females get laid. The dating coaches are reverse pimps. Shout out to Blake Mind for pointing it out. You see, both of them are our opposition. That's what they are. And all of their arguments are easy to dissect. In fact, they've gotten so easy to dissect that they really don't have a valid argument. So what they've decided to do now is to set their crosshairs to attacking form women. And now they've come up with this narrative that if you are a black man worth your soul, you buy a passport and go jetting off to South America or another country to deal with foreign women, then you're a simp. And that right there actually makes me laugh because the real simps are these brothers you see fighting and dying in the streets over pussy. The real simps are these Manginas who jump on YouTube and are on the grift. These are you, your idiots who try to shove their bullshit down your throat. You know the ones. If you buy my pheromone soap, you buy my books and maintain frame, then these bitches will love you. They'll worship your cock and all that little monkey shit. <laughs> but now they're saying that men who buy passports and go to foreign lands to deal with foreign women are sims. They said that these foreign women are only using men for a green card. And in some ways that's true, but for the most part, if these men, these women don't like dealing with these men, they can just go back to their country. Simple as that. And then you have this argument, well, those foreign women, they're no different than Western women, I said. But the thing is, the foreign women who come from countries where feminism is not as severe as it is here in the West, they still conduct themselves like women. Not like the overfed land whales here in this daughter of Babylon we call America. You see... All of their arguments are very easy to butcher because they don't have a valid argument. And that's why, for the most part, these dating coach clowns, these POA monkeys will never get my respect. I'll never respect them because they're peddling fraud. These dating coaches are reverse pimps. These POA clowns are lying to women to get laid. They're both lame. They're both losers. And for the sorry SOBs who listen to these guys and you subsidize their fuck-ups, you're pitiful. You guys are being played. You're getting head faked. You see, they'll reverse pimp you to women. But when your life is ruined, when you are in prison, or you find yourself in subhuman poverty, these... PUA monkeys and these dating coach shysters are nowhere to be found. So what if you end up running into the ex, one of the exes of these females they're trying to reverse pimp you to? Are these PUA monkeys and these DNA shysters, are they going to help you buy any body armor? Are they going to arm you with a firearm? to defend yourself in case one of these habitual felons of an ex decides to come looking for your head. No, they're not going to do that. If anything, their general consensus among these thirsty men who feel they got to learn game and do all this monkey shit to get laid, the general consensus of you is this. There's a sucker born every second. 
just there. Consensus when it comes to you. So, for these idiots who are saying that men who buy passports and only deal with four winter simps, you can go fuck yourself with a cactus. Those men, at least they can afford passports. What the fuck do you do? Besides run a grift on YouTube. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves for impersonating human beings. You're a joke. And because you're peddling fraud, your punishment will be doubled. Hence the saying, if you start with a lie, you end up with nothing. It is what it is. You brothers out there, enjoying your eve of Saturnalia, I mean Christmas, enjoy it. And as for opposition, and those that are proud of what we say and how we say it, give them nothing. This has been the SYSB and PSA. Motor Cumbers, tight. See you soon.